Good morning everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table I'm just going to be giving you um, my method for regaining your orientation if you've lost it without having to rely on the electronics which are fabulous but might not be there one day. So we'll have a look at that. Before we go any further though, um, as is traditional on the channel, the beverage of choice today, uh, as it's very early in the morning, uh, is uh, a good cup of black home roasted Guatemalan coffee. For those of you who keep asking me about it, I did a video a couple of weeks ago, one of my least viewed so far, but it was slightly off topic, I guess, for the channel. But if you want to, uh, want to find out how I roast my own coffee, go and look at that, but cheers. Oh, I think I might need two of those this morning. Right, <coughs> orientation. So. I get a lot of people who say to me, well, what do you mean lose orientation? How can you lose orientation? We've got, we've got IOC in with home lock and we just have to pull back on the stick and it will come towards us. And we've got a Vision Plus so I can just press this radar button on my app and I can see exactly which way my nose is pointing and bring it home. And that is true. And those things are fantastic technology. Um, they are, uh, you know, make things so much easier for beginners as well. Um, but... Uh, those of you who've been subscribers for a while, you know my thoughts on these things. My, I, what, I, what I always tend to say to people is, please, just learn to fly the aircraft as it stands. Run, you know, five or ten batteries worth through it and get a feel for it before. I, you know, I still get people emailing me saying, I've just literally taken delivery of my Vision Plus. I want to put it into NASA mode and get a hold of all the gadgets. Well, maybe learn to use the minimum tool set before you kind of, you know, have to rely on things. And this is one of those cases in point. All the things we've talked about, the IOC with the home lock and the, and the, uh, the app uh, Wi-Fi link that shows you where that's, they are brilliant. But if the only way you can regain your orientation is using those, the day that you lose GPS signal, the day that your, um, your GPS unit fails, the day that you push it beyond Wi-Fi range or you go behind uh, some, an obstruction and you lose the app down, um, downlink and you don't know what direction you're in and you can't get it back yourself could be in trouble so for those who would like to know how I do it this is what we're going to do Tom and I went out into the field literally a field the other day in an absolute it was blowing a gale it was it was it was it, I came close to just cancelling it but I wanted to get this done so I did it it was on it was on my limits the wind and you'll see that from the video and I apologize if there's some wind noise on the camera so I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of uh, basically the technique that I use um, to regain orientation if you're at the edge so um, let's watch that now okay so I don't know what my direction is so I'm going to give it some forward stick and see what happens so it's moving to the right so what I'm going to do is continue giving it some forward. Raise the I'll give it some forward and, and add little bursts of right rudder until I don't see that movement anymore. So forwards and right, forward and right, going right, still going right, still going right, still going right, but slowly, still going right. It stopped. It's now pretty much facing me, and I can bring it in. So let's look at the principle again. I don't know. Um, I don't know which direction I'm facing. I'm going to give it some forward. In my vision, it's moving to the left this time. So now I'm going to carry on with that forward movement and give little bursts of left yaw. So we don't. We don't see it. At that point, it should be heading on back towards me. Now for the tricky one. I, I don't know whether it's facing me or it's facing away from me. Obviously giving forward stick, one of those will be a good thing and one will be a not so good thing. So if I give it forward stick now, it's not really moving in my eye line or it's moving. Oh, the wind is not. So we're fighting the wind a bit, but let's, let's have a look. So if I give it forward stick, not really moving in my eye line at distance, that wouldn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger some movement by going forward again, giving it a little burst of left to see which direction it goes. It's now turning left, now I'll carry the left on. And when the left movement stops, it's pretty much heading towards me and I can bring it on home. Hmm. 
definitely need more of that. So there we go. That was basically what I do. So it's an element of, of keeping some a small amount of forward movement going, as in right stick up, uh, forwards, and then just little bursts of that yaw until you can see um, a motion. Now, one of the things that I forgot to show you, uh, but also we packed up immediately after that, was just the wind was getting too, too gusty, uh, was what happens if you uh, have the aircraft coming towards you. Uh, we did the going away from you and we, we tweaked it. Obviously, if you're coming towards you and you put forward stick on, and then if you apply a bit of a little burst of left rudder, the aircraft is going to rotate it itself left, which will cause it to move right in your line of sight. In that case, if you get an opposite reaction, you know it must be coming towards you, um, and therefore you can basically just keep it going. There's no need to do that rotate and, and get yourself sorted because if it's coming towards you, if you give it some left yaw and it ends up moving right a bit uh, in your eyesight, just give some right yaw to bring it back and it will be heading its way to you. So that was just the, um, the bit that we, we just went home. It was ridiculous. So there we go. I hope that was useful. Um, you know, have a practice. You know, like like we did. We didn't take it very far. It looks further than it than it than it did in the camera, um, and you can just get get a handle on it. Um, why not? If you've got a vision, for example, why not take it to the edge of where you can just about see the aircraft, um, you know, clearly, and um, turn the um, turn the phone around in the in the in the holder so you can't see the radar and and practice because it might just save you pushing it further away or stuffing it into into something if you can if you can get it so there we go that was just my my little technique it's not the only method it's the one that i use if you've got something that you think is just as good or easier or better please in the comments below uh, and as ever thank you very much for watching and if you're not already please consider subscribing to the channel um, and we'll be back soon with some more stuff uh, later on this week hopefully back here on the kitchen table so until then cheers